Hey guys, Jaws of Shark Reviews here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series uh, 57 Bumblebee, Off-Road Bumblebee. <laughs> so, yeah, really, really cool. Uh, so, here he is in his Off-Road vehicle mount. I know this toy's been out for like a few months now, but I got it not last Saturday, but the Saturday before that. Since I didn't see that they had any cyber assaults, I'm like, hey, why not continue buying Studio Series? Uh, last weekend, I actually got uh, Dark and the Moon Soundwave. So, pretty cool. Uh, but this, I uh, also saw too. Uh, and I'm like, hey, why not? <laughs> and I decided to pick it up because, well, I really love Bumblebee. If you may or not. I uh, may or may not know on this channel. I mean, I don't talk about that that much, but I really do like uh, the Bumblebee movie. That's my favorite of the live action Transformers movies because well, it definitely keeps in to its continuity and anything before, especially G1, because the designs are like a mix of Bayverse and G1. So pretty, pretty cool. So here is his. A road vehicle here. This is Bumbley's first Earth mode. And it looks pretty cool. It's got open seats and no Lego minifigures cannot really fit in there. I tried. It barely does it. Like the leg goes on the steering wheel. So, yeah, not good. As you can see on the back, he's got a spare tire. And, yeah. Looks... For the most part, very nice. I mean, at the bottom, eh, like he just got his arms just sticking out. Because, uh, shins there. But this is like, that's the part that, it's like, you see his robot junk. So, yeah. That's, doesn't look that great, but, eh, I'll take it out over having no good, uh, Bumblebee toy. So, Yeah. Oh, uh, so here it is. Yeah, yeah alright. So now for comparison, uh, here is with Optimus Prime, who I've actually never reviewed. Like, I did that one April's Fool, <laughs> April Fool's joke back last year. Oh, uh, alright, I pretend to review them, but then I just messed around. One day I'll actually will reveal this, like a legitimate reveal, but. I haven't gotten to that yet. This figure is like over a year old. I did get it around when it first came out. I just saw it at my local Walmart. Uh, so I actually did get it pretty early. And it wasn't like this far. I didn't just wait a few months. Because of all the pandemic as you know. So stayed at home. And uh, yeah. I never got to collecting Transformers. I mean here and there. But now I'm actually getting back into it. So yeah. Okay, so for transformation, what you do is, is you simply just untab the door, or actually you can flip out the down the windows, windshield section, and untab the back. There you go. And then next what you do is, is you try to untab these are actually on top of the arms. So, yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, on top the doors, there we go. From the hips and all that. And on top of the actual legs. And you fold this down, same here. See. Okay, you keep it like that, and then next thing to do is you uh, untab the. Well, first flip down the seats, then you un want to untab the feet, like so, and then so the bowl joints they so swivel around and then kind of push a little forward. bit tricky here. 
but okay, there we go. All right, so there's some of the legs. I just want to flip this around. Actually, we're stuck in tire. And then, fold this down. And you can do the same here. If I'm doing this right. <laughs> Just tuck that back in, and then boom, there we go. Boom, now we're doing it. And then untap this section, like so. And then uh, next, you want to tap this a bit so you can. Pull the arms out, and then, uh, next, you can simply untab these pieces and then fold this in. Like so. Alright, this is a bit tricky. Oh, yeah. Fold out the head. I <laughs> almost forgot the head. It's important. You don't want to fold out the head. There you go. There's B's head. Alright, just uh, swivel the arm around. Same here. And then. Alright, you know oh, yeah, just keep that back here. And then. Make sure that, oh, yeah, so, uh, squeeze it together, then tap this in. <laughs> kind of forgot how to do that. I haven't uh, transformed this toy that much. Sorry, it's the camera bit. There we go. And, yeah, there we have that. I think we got everything. Yep, 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 uh, and we're done. So, there we have the Transformers, uh, Bumblebee, and this robot mode. <laughs> that wasn't that hard. It took, like, four minutes. So, yeah, really cool. Like, he actually looks like his uh, off-road uh, version of him. And I actually do own other Bumblebee movie toys. I own the uh, car dropkick, uh, helicopter dropkick, and the uh, car shatter. And I want to get that jet one, too. Uh, but uh, I think that's all. Yeah, I think that's, like, about everything to release. And uh, the actual uh, Beetle Bumblebee, I own that one, too. But honestly, I think I like this robot mode better because in that one it's a little kind of a little kibbly in the back and it's just a lot too chunky. Like when you just kind of remove that, that actually looks decent the figure. But like I think this looks better because he just kind of looks a little more bold here. It's like oh yeah, I'm gonna take on and I'm just have to come. But yeah, like really, this looks pretty cool. And he also comes with his Gatling gun kind of accessory. You can see that there. So, that's uh, nice. And then you can attach that to his hand here. It's meant for this one. So it kind of looks like his hand became this. And there you go. That looks really cool. And also, here's his backdrop, which is obviously based on the movie. And you can see up here... There's uh, Blitzwing. We all thought was Starscream. Uh, you guys, remember that when that round when that happened, <laughs> we were like, "Hey, it's Starscream!" <laughs> and then uh, at Comic Con, they said, "Oh, uh, the record said no, it's Blitzwing," and everyone got angry. Honestly, though, like I think everyone can agree now, Blitzwing was pretty cool. Like even though he what didn't look like his tank or anything like in G One, like he still looked really cool. And you can see there's the Military, and you can have Bumblebee. Let's kind of top of that. Let's kind of this in the back. 
you know, rest there. And honestly, it looks pretty cool. I should actually use that for my thumbnail. <laughs> so the plain white background I have. Like, that looks really cool. I actually never reviewed any of these two series figures, funny enough, on my channel before this. Which is weird, because I, I actually own not every figure, not tons of figures from it, but I own, like, a good amount. Like, at least I own, like, one one figure of each character. Though, this is, like, my second Bumblebee, I think, in the line. After that one, I just told it about. But yeah, for articulation, his head's on the ball joint. Uh, his arms go out 180 degrees. They bend at 90 degrees. A little over that, actually. And, uh, his legs or ball joint, they kick out this far. Kick back this far, his knees bend at least this much. His feet do actually they just kinda of go back and forth. And his uh waist does swivel. And yeah, I believe that's all the articulation on this guy, so pretty good for deluxe. So yeah. Just gonna stand up straight. Oh yeah, and we gotta make sure to push his feet a little more forward. It gives him his accurate scale. Yeah, nice straight he is. Standing. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Got leans over. Alright, Bumblebee. You can do this. You can stand. You got feet. We're made to stand. <laughs> oh, but yeah. So for comparison, here is with his leader options. Oh, there goes the camera. Ah. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> you see, there it is. With the old great prime. <laughs> so, there's that. So, there you have the Transformers Studio Series 57 Deluxe Class Off Road Bumblebee. So, yeah, uh, I think he's a really good figure, like, they get a job, a very good job of, uh, making him, like, just like on the movie, well, for the most part, the same, Masterpiece, uh, top-notch quality, but, it is quite, it's quite decent for a main line. Uh, so, yeah, uh, and what's cool is, is recently they released the next Bumblebee movie, Studio Series toy, which is the one I've probably been the most excited for since they announced Optimus. It is Blitzwing. That's right. We can recreate that scene where, uh, spoiler, I mean, it's been two years probably by now, <laughs> but, uh, where he rips out his voice box. And it was in this, you know, the same scene here. <laughs> so, yeah, really cool. Uh, so definitely gonna get that one. It's also the Voyager class, so it may scale good with primals. Because we actually never seen them together, so it'll be cool to see what they actually scale like. Because, as the box I think says, it is accurate scale. So, really, really excited. So, yeah, there you have that. Uh, so, yeah, I think this figure is uh, pretty good. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on it. <laughs> but, uh,. Yeah, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, share for more. Uh, comment down below what you guys think of this figure. Do you think he is good, mediocre, or bad? Let me know in the comment section down below. And bye.